We're at Sophia Nygaard's studio, and we're about to build something large and strange for her. <laughs> oh my god! It's a little intimidating. The wicks threw me off for a second. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! It's spaghetti! She wants to melt all 223 Yankee candles together into one giant Franken-Yankee candle. So we sent her a huge list of things to order, because we need to make a four-foot candle jar that won't melt or leak, a template to run 16 wicks up the center of it, and a way to melt 30 gallons of wax above the four-foot candle jar and safely pour it inside. So let's go back to where we started. So Sophia and her team reached out for help making their giant candle because we've made some weird things, some big things, and specifically we have some experience making giant candles after making our thousand wick candle. But we thought we should make theirs a little bit less dangerous and uh, fireball-y. Our first goal is figuring out the candle jar container, which we've been referring to ominously as the vessel. And we thought, this is gonna be easy. We can just buy something. Since they want the container clear like a Yankee candle, the main options are glass or plastic like acrylic. But acrylic can warp under heat. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, see, we wanna avoid that at all costs because we're gonna be dealing with 35 gallons of molten wax. So we told the team, we gotta get glass. Sophia's team got a quote for a glass jar that would be big enough. And it's over $10,000 and that wouldn't even include any damages incurred in shipping. So we're gonna use an acrylic jar. And by use, I mean make, because they don't actually come in sizes big enough for what we need. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we should do some small scale tests with acrylic to make sure this is even possible. So the plan is basically pour the hot wax into this acrylic vase and see if it starts warping. Ooh. How far should I uh, fill it? I think fill it like... Like at least halfway. Just, just pour it all the way out. <laughs> just, just use do it all, all of it? Yeah, just do all of it. <laughs> so it's, it's heating up pretty fast right now. So the wax has really started to solidify at this point. And how is the acrylic? It feels totally fine. So I think if it's under 160, I think we should be okay. But that's not the only hot thing that will be around the acrylic. So one of the things we're worried about is how hot the acrylic will get from the flame. Look at this. I can see the column of heat rising Whoa. and it's pretty narrow and I really don't feel the heat at all. We also saw that the wax melted by the lit wick tended to stay between 100 and 150 degrees Fahrenheit depending on how close it was to the center. We still think acrylic is not practical or safe for candle jars in general, but since the wicks are so far from the walls and will only be burning it while the wicks are close to the top, we felt okay moving forward. This is a lot less worrying than I thought. This might be possible. <laughs> <laughs> with that in mind, we decided it was safe enough to move forward with acrylic. The plan was to take a giant acrylic tube and attach an acrylic disc to one end. And to do that, we're gonna use... Resin. Resin time. But before we get to the resin, we actually want to rough up the acrylic so that the resin has something to stick to. And Evan forgot his safety glasses in Texas, so I'm gonna do the drummeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a really good thing that um, this is, uh, it doesn't have to be exact. <laughs> no. <laughs> now we gotta do the big boy. <laughs> do, we, do we have room for him? <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe this is 60 pounds. This is This is 60 pounds. It's a 60 pound tube. <sighs> when we made our candle, the whole thing was 60 pounds with the wax. This is gonna be a heavy candle. Let's glue this base down so it doesn't float up. Glue down enough to not slip around or leak resin, but still removable. All right. Ooh, exciting. We've started. No, it is squishing out. That's okay. Then it's going to leave a resin void or get stuck to the resin. I don't think that's okay. I think we need to clean it off. Yeah, it's a decent amount of squish out. Yeah, it's already solidified. Yeah, it's already stuck. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the alcohol and try again. <laughs> <laughs> Out of context, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Rolling two. 
Okay, so now it's time for some hot glue so that this disc doesn't float up when we do resin. Let's offset them in so they don't squish out the sides. That's what a smart person would do. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just like we planned. <laughs> you grab that side. Okay. Centered. 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 Good evening. We interrupt this program with breaking news. Other internet browsers found in shambles after learning that Opera implemented their top of the line AI to the sidebar. We're now with Evan for more. Well. Thank you, Evan. Opera also has features like tab islands, which I personally love. Any updates on that front? Opera. Insightful. Evan, what does public opinion look like? People love. You can see on your screen that I can block ads and trackers with one click without any need for plugins. There are also lots of customization options. Woohoo! It really is a symphony of customization. Or should I say, an opera of customization. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. Uh, just a second. Oh, <clears throat> breaking news. Opera's AI and sidebar features now offer one-click access to instant comprehensive answers, summaries, and explanations while browsing? Wait, I've just been informed that you can download Opera now and try these features for yourself by clicking the link in our description or a pinned comment. Thank you, Opera, for bringing us this professional news segment. And thank you for watching. And thanks, Opera, for sponsoring us. You look interesting through You're kind of warped. Well, you look great, <laughs> as always. And I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> now, if we mess this up, which we're not going to, all of the resin will spill out over Sophia and Tyler's new floor. So that's why we're not going to mess it up. But what if they want resin floors? We didn't ask them. <laughs> yeah, do you want to upgrade? But like, people pay extra for that. <laughs> Alrighty. Hopefully, Hopefully that's enough. Yep. And uh, now it's time for... Resin time, resin time. Do, 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 resin time. All right, so instead of just pouring this bucket in and getting the resin everywhere, I have a new tool, my resin horn. I mean, a funnel attached to a PVC pipe. This is our highest up resin pour. Come on, flow down. I haven't seen it come out yet, but by the laws of gravity, it will. Oh, it's coming. Yes. It's doing it, yes. Very slowly. It's, it's coming out very slowly. I think the most difficult part will be when we lift it out. You'll have to make sure there's no lingering dribbles. Okay, what if I pull it out slowly? Oh. It's well, still actively pouring, though. Yeah, and as I lift it out, it starts angling out to the side in a weird way. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, it's the static. It's the static. It's the static. Yeah, because look at that. It's like it's like bending out to the side. That's oh, so... no. Oh, I lifted oh, no. it too high, and it went to the wall. It, yeah, it splashed. I wonder if we can, like, get a paper towel and a stick and wipe the, um... We do have another stick. But, wait, Kaylin. What? Duct tape a bucket to the stick. Get a bucket. Yes. Get a, get a medium-sized bucket. <laughs> no duct tape, no blue tape. Where's the duct tape? Oh. <laughs> and just do it right here. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what is it? Come on, you can do it. More. I don't think it's gonna fall off. A little more. An oven level of duct tape? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, lowering. Yes. 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 Retrieval success. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try to clean up the dribble? It's fine. Okay. Okay, hopefully we can just pop this off. <laughs> alcohol should release the glue. Mm. Who doesn't love a fine misting of alcohol in the morning? Such a nice way to wake up. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> now smash it with a hammer. Don't you think we should maybe like try to cut it a little bit first? Like pull it off a little bit first? I mean, I can, I can smash it. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, that didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Did it? Oh, oh my God, it did. Oh my God. You basically did all of that. <laughs> it wasn't the power of leverage. No, it was my... my mighty uh, swing. My mighty swing. <laughs> yeah. 
Wow. wow! We have a big candle jar! But we need to figure out how to get the wicks in place because the method we used on our 1000 wick candle was a huge pain and wouldn't even work with a candle so tall. So we came up with a new solution. So this is what we ended up with for our wick template. This piece right here looks like a cookie. <laughs> it's gonna go down at the bottom and all of the wicks are gonna go up from here to matching holes all the way here at the top. But we worried that the bottom piece would float. Yes, so you grab the scuba weights that you have laying around. Yeah. These are gonna go down here to hold it down. But how are we gonna lower this down gently that is, to the base. that is the question. I, Cause won't the, cause won't the weights fall off or like slide around? <laughs> I haven't tried this yet, so I hope this works. Is this just a test piece? Cause that's very short. It's a test piece. It's for demonstration purposes only. It's, it's plenty long, okay? <laughs> it's not the length that matters. <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> it's how you demonstrate it. <laughs> not that type of channel. <laughs> okay, so imagine this. Imagine these are a little bit longer and then we just lower it down like that. We overhang them. <sighs> Tape it down. Tape down the excess, okay. Thread and then... the extra through here. Clip it, trim it. I'm down to try. It would be much faster just to do solid lines. I thought the dot would look nice. It does look nice. <laughs> So, you know, I've been thinking about getting some uh, dirty blonde hair extensions. What do you Ooh. think? Oh, I love it. Wow, they're so, they're so stylish and stringy. I like how they're thick and stiff. It's a spaghetti jellyfish. <laughs> right? All right, okay. let's add some weights to it and sink it to the bottom of the... <laughs> Lower this down. This goes here. Okay. And then, if all goes according to plan. <laughs> oh, it's working. Yes. All right, now we just can't drop these. Yeah. And let's untangle them. Yeah, it's a little bit messy. Hey, it's No, it's progress. working. That's, that is not a criticism. That's just a fact. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Christmas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. What a beautiful song. Blah, blah. Love, you're singing so good. We're going to get a copy strike. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> Look at that. You know, we're not always the most efficient. But we get it done. Eventually. This one, so far, has been working out. I'm How sorry. How dare you? I'm sorry. I won't jinx it. Well, also, we have to do the actual candle pour. Yeah, true. We're not in the clear till then. We have our four foot candle jar. We have our wicks in place. The only thing left to figure out was how to safely melt over 35 gallons of wax, raise it four feet into the air and get it into this candle jar. And the answer has been behind us the whole time. This is a 50 gallon beer brewing keg on a hydraulic lift. I don't know if the size of this comes across on camera, but Caitlin can fit in here. It's large. It's intimidatingly large. We meant to order a long hose to, <laughs> to uh, let the wax flow into this tube, but we have a one foot for now. Hopefully the big one arrives in time. <laughs> yeah, now we just need to raise this up. Hey, this'll work as a backup. For now, I think we're as done as we can be. Sophia's on her way here. I'm excited to see what she thinks of this setup. Are you ready? I'm ready. Now, I don't want to scare you. Uh-oh. With how it turned out. Oh. Oh. 
Which is perfect. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at how large it is. It's, it's quite wow. large. It's a little intimidating, if I'm being honest. So is this. The wicks threw me off for a second. I was like, ah! <laughs> 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 it's spaghetti! It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ignoring the wicks, it looks amazing. It looks beautiful. And those will be hidden. No, the wicks will yeah. also be great. Yeah. The wicks will be great. At this moment, I'm terrified of them. Yeah. But they will be great. That's understandable. <laughs> That's understandable. We the also, size. I know. I think the, the premise was giant candles. Yes. We've achieved giant. We calculated if you let this burn continuously, it'll last four and a half weeks. All right, cool. All right, here we go. You know. Apocalypse, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Cook over it. <laughs> have like I some... will last exactly four and a half weeks in the apocalypse. <laughs> now, we do have one more thing to show you. Unroll the scroll. We have the custom oh, label. Beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. Yay. Uh, we're not going to get in trouble for this font, are we? No, we'll be fine. Right? I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. You know, right? I recreated it myself there we go. in Illustrator. As a graphic designer, she's a professional. <laughs> Um, so hopefully that's, there's subtle differences. Subtle no, differences. I'm just saying it's so good. I don't want to get in trouble. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I love the art style. I love the backs. And with that, it was time to make a giant Yankee candle. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can watch in full on Sophia's channel. After adding 223 candles to the giant beer kettle. Some black tea and lemon. Nasty. We thought everything was going smoothly. Until melting the last 10% of wax caused almost 10 hours of challenges. But with enough brute force, we finished melting the 42 gallons of wax. What What is happening right now? What do you mean? It looks like the end of Lord of the Flies. Oh my god! Oh. The liquid flows forth! Oh. Christmas photo. <laughs> like we're just having a conversation yeah. on the water cooler. <laughs> the next day it solidified and we could actually light it. And if you're curious about what every Yankee candle melted together smells like, you can see that on Sophia's channel. I feel like I'm drunk in a Michael's aisle. <laughs> <laughs> a smell we're still trying to get out of our clothes, resin masks, and brains. Evan is just face deep. <laughs>